Comics Ben, Comics Ben, 100 days of making Comics Ben. He's a wannabe with a plan, but that's what it takes to make a Comic Ben. Hell yeah, we're making the Comics Ben. Hey everybody, Mike here, checking in for day 37 out of 100 days of making comics, a video series in which I'll spend at least 30 minutes a day, every consecutive day, working on my own personal comic, Space Cat. Space Cat! No, 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 no. So today was a pretty good day. Uh, my uh, comics stuff did get pushed off until a little bit later, uh, because today was kind of a special day. It's uh, the third day before the 4th of July, and uh, uh, Mel ended up getting the day off, so we had a little bit of like an early weekend and actually got to spend some time with each other, hanging out. We went for a really long walk uh, in the neighborhood, and that was that was really fun. Usually our days off are reserved exclusively for like house chores or going to visit relatives or whatever. We don't get much time to actually see each other and just hang out. So that was cool, and that was what most of my day was. And um, all right, so. Uh, I had said yesterday I'm going to really try to uh, start doing some writing, so I'd like to uh, share this with you, so let's hop on over here. So let me uh, introduce you to Scrivener. Um, again, I'm not plugging this because I have any sort of affiliation, I'm plugging it because it's amazing. It just blew, blew the doors open to a whole new possibilities, entirely new ways to approach writing and to possibly even avoid some of the pitfalls that, that I go through um, where I usually get stuck. I'll give you a little overview kind of thing and then uh, you can decide for yourselves, but I definitely recommend trying out the free trial, at least to try it. Um, I will say, uh, as a big warning before we even begin, I will say it takes some getting used to, um, which today I've spent a good hour, maybe even an hour and a half just getting reacclimated to it because I haven't used it in mm, I'd say about two two and a half years, um, and it's taken me about an hour hour and a half to get reacclimated to it. Now that said, the best thing that I could say about it, though, as far as all that goes, is you don't need to learn everything to get started. Um, it's very much one of those things that as soon as you pick up and understand one thing, you can kind of start putting it to use, and over time learn everything else and put those things to use. Um, so anyways, here, I'm going to just kind of dive in. Um, I haven't added much, so it's, uh, if I if I come to a blank page or something, it's just because I haven't transferred over everything that I need to transfer over. Everything that I have is in notebooks and uh, on my wall of note cards, and so it's going to take me a minute to shift all that over. So Okay, so uh, I'm doing it this way because I don't I don't want you to be able to read all of this. Uh, there's a lot of spoilers going on here. Um, there's also, uh, you know, just is what it is. Otherwise, I'd do a screen capture thing. But hopefully you can see enough to, to get what I'm talking about. So uh, over here on the, on this side here, we've got uh, what's, what they call the binder. And now uh, the binder basically holds everything. Oops. The binder basically holds everything for your project, and you got a reference folder, which is uh, all of these have like drop down little like you could expand them to to see the rest of the stuff. Um, I've got a template stored in here, which shows me you know the gist of what the comic script uh, plugin that I'm using should look like. You can create your own, which is super easy. So if you have a very specific way that you like your script to look, you can very easily adjust that in the, up in the properties and stuff so that it looks the way that you need it to look. This one was a template that I found just to get me started. But um, So anyways, that's that, and all I gotta do is just copy this page and drag it over and it's kind of all set to go. Um, but that's, I don't know, we'll get into that a little bit later, but uh, you may have noticed that when I've when I switch from uh, something like this page to this folder, it turns into a corkboard. Now you can basically change how you view different things. This view is going to show me the title page, space cat, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna block this because that's my address and stuff. And then down here, we've got all the different files. So here's uh, my 24 pages on this in this menu, 
um, and it displays them, but only it only displays the amount of text that's there. So I don't have to, like there is a whole page here, but I don't have to scroll through the entire page if there's nothing to read. It automatically condenses things in this format, um, which I find really, really handy. Um, especially for something like a script. Let me uh, show you a different way to look at this. So this is book one, okay? And that's that's that view. Now if I wanted to, I could switch to cork board view, and now I've got note cards. And you'll see that there's this text that wasn't in there when I looked at it in this view. And that's because these are treated as, these are like attached to the pages themselves so that I can write as if I were writing on like a, a cork board, as if I were writing on, you know, note cards. And you can adjust the sizes and stuff if you want to so that they look more like your traditional note cards if you want. You can adjust the font size and all that good stuff. Um, really doesn't matter too much, but anyways, uh, say I take page one, page two, page three, whatever. Um, you can choose a title for it and you can choose, you know, what is said inside of there and then from now on if I were to double click this it opens up my page and now over here is what I wrote on the note card so as I'm writing and I get to that page say I'm just writing a script out and I get to this page and I think oh what was this about again I could just pop up here as if it you know as if I had the note card right there right on hand and you can resize all of this these things too so that you know you can see more or less of uh, what's on there. You'll notice here when I hit enter, uh, I can choose what I'm about to write about. So um, to kind of go, this this has to do with the comic plugin. So now every time I hit enter or maybe it's shift enter or something like that, I can choose whether I'm about to type a panel number, a panel description, uh, whether I'm typing a character's name, a bit of dialogue, a parenthetical, like a sound effect or something, or, or an emotion, um, uh, page number, and general text. I, I use general text a lot because sometimes I just like to write and then figure out what the dialogue and stuff is going to be later. But uh, anyway, so that that's that. So I could choose this and start typing. Whoops. Choose panel number and start typing. And then it'll be sure to be in the same font and format that it's supposed to be for whatever it is. Um, really cool, really useful little thing so that you don't have to mess with, uh, uh, you know, changing fonts and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's all set up for you right away, so it's easier to uh, switch between and to get, get going right off the bat than it would be to use, like, Word, for example, or, I don't know, any other text editing program where you'd have to change the style of the text. There's another program uh, called Celtex, Celtex, uh, C-E-L-T-X, for script writing. It's similar to that in the sense that you can choose, um, you know, what you're going to be writing, and then it has a automatic formatting. Um, but anyway, so that's that. I'm going to jump back over here. So you'll notice there's also some colors on here. You can do custom things for this too, but you can signify a progress level and a status level and it's totally up to you whether you even want to use these things or not but progress i've just done a custom one so i've got in progress script layout pencil ink color letters done so i can choose what 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 progress level this is at so then i can easily see in a nutshell where am i at with my book, you know, how far along am I on this? And of course you need to keep up with that if you're going to use it, but, um, you know, say I wanted to just see in a nutshell, here's all my 24 pages. I can see right now they're all in progress. Um, you know, maybe I finished this one and, and that one's needs to be inked. You know, it's up to you how you use these things and interpret these things, but the tools are there and they're just, uh, I don't know, very useful. In addition to that, there's a different style that you can use, which is uh, to-do, or first draft, or second draft, you know, and you can change all these things too. They could say, uh, coffee pot, if you really wanted it to, I don't know, whatever, blah blah blah. Then, 
when you use that one instead of the color one, it prints text across the note card. Um, so maybe you can incorporate them and use them both together. Maybe you use one or the other because you like the look of one or the other. Totally up to you. It's all just is what it is. Um, you know, they're all just tools. So uh, that's that. Over here, you can write notes. Notes, 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 da 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 None of this gets printed into the file, but it has to do with the file. So maybe maybe it's just notes uh, in, a, in a way that maybe you just want to say, like, uh, I don't know, change the background for this or, or whatever. It's, it's a notepad that's just attached to that, and that's pretty cool. Okay, you can do links to other stuff. So say... Say I introduce Space Cat for the first time on a page, I can go and uh, link it to something in... Oops, it got bugs flying in here. And I can link it to, like, say, concept art or a bio sheet or something like that. Um, great for working in teams, but also just as a regular, you know, a single artist slash writer, uh, you know, it helps you keep organized. Maybe you think of a weird, obscure character that, that really isn't going to be a big role, um, you know, that kind of character, so then you would make a link to the biopic, and then you could easily remember, you know, the stuff that you had attached to that character instead of having to think, like, oh yeah, what what was he again? What was his purpose? Um, I don't know, I'm just, these are just suggestions. You can also do, uh, choose text color, obviously, you can highlight things, um, uh, you could do tables, say you know that you wanted to change that, so you, so you highlight the text, and then you go to comments and footnotes, and you add one, and now this is going to be linked to this. So now that's going to be linked to that, and I can just click that, and it's going to show me that. It's always going to bring me to there, uh, which you can see, like, okay, Untitled Origins, I'll add another one. Rawr. Um... Yep, and then when you click, it highlights which one it is. And you can choose what colors they are, so that you can distinguish between, like, maybe this is a, uh, a script edit, maybe this is a visual edit, maybe this is a note about how you would want to ink it, so then you'd make that blue, or whatever. Again, just tools, just tools to use. This stuff is right here, like, the whole way that this works is very interactive and very fluid. Uh, now here's another thing, right? So I got all these note cards, okay? So the last thing that I wanted to show you, and this is kind of the, one of the main reasons that I, I really dig this, is um, say I wanted to move page three. I decided, oh, page three is good. I like it. The story content's awesome, but I don't want it to be page three anymore. It needs to be somewhere else. You can just drag and shift pages around like this which is pretty awesome, you know? I mean, to be able to just arrange your story like this is pretty cool. Um, there's no other program that lets you do something like that. And uh, creating new pages is super easy. You just hit enter. Boom. I just got like 10 more pages just like that. Um, and everything is like a physical object. It's not... Uh, uh, it's not like one doc. I mean, you could go on and on and on on one document, and make one document several pages, but just hitting the enter key allows you to separate your pages like this, so that you can do, uh, you know, you make use of the note cards and order everything around. Uh, there's also keywords, so if you wanted to attach keywords, like say, number one, I want to make sure that everyone knows. Uh, Space Cat's in that one, so now I've attached Space Cat to that page, and Space Cat is in uh, this one as well. I'm pretty sure that there's a uh, here we go, show project keywords. Yep, there we go. So then you can say, all right, that's in there. Boom. So now, at a glance, yet again, I can look at the whole project and go, okay, Space Cat's in page one. He's in page six. So you know. If you wanted to know stuff like that, or maybe you wanted to know, maybe you have like a MacGuffin sort of deal, and you want to know, you know, where's the briefcase in, in each of these, and, it, and does the pacing work for that, and you can keep track of multiple story arcs very easily that way, um, with keywords, uh, because if you add another, like say, I don't know, Future Mike, because he's a character, 
So then, you know, it stacks them, it stacks the colors um, so that you can always see how many colors are in there. So I would do like maybe red and blue, you know, red for the one story arc, blue for another one, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, so that's uh, basically a Scrivener in a nutshell. Um, I can't really do it justice though. I mean, I kind of stumbled through because there's just so much to it. And it's one of those things that, uh, I don't know, you just got to try it out to, to see what it's all about. And, uh, and again, like I said before I started showing any of that stuff, is uh, it's well worth giving a shot for a while. I think the trial is like for 30 days. It's worth taking, uh, you know, maybe, maybe taking a project that's already been written and uh, seeing ways that you would import the, the data, seeing ways that you would organize all that stuff um, from an existing project. That's one way. Uh, that's actually something, that's the first thing that I started doing when I got it, was taking huge, I have this massive, massive story. Of Zam and Simon are the, the main characters. So I refer to it, the whole story, as Zam or Zam and Simon. Um, but anyways, that was the first thing, is I, I chose that to try to dump that into a Scrivener project file just to help make sense of it and organize it. Um, because in addition to writing things in the program, you can also uh, import references to other files as well without having to retype them all. You could just link directly to them and you can organize stuff like that. Um, like I didn't and uh, get into this as much as I could have, but I've got a whole folder full of references. Um, just all these are all uh, pop culture or uh, pulp um, sci-fi covers from like old pulp uh, comics from back in the day, like 30s, 40s. Uh, actually, it's like from the 30s through the 70s. Because uh, I don't know, I like the different art styles. I need to organize them in here. A little bit more but uh, anyways so you can import pictures you can import PDFs you can import other um, other uh, documents and stuff and, and if you can't import them directly you can import links to them so uh, there's all kinds of different ways to use it um, the other way which is uh, probably the better way is uh, starting a new project with it um, that's when I really started to see its its uses and its potential was uh, starting a new project I wrote about one full book uh, one maybe two to three quarters and another one I've got the whole outline done basically all these note cards spelled out um, in red hit go in very very brief terms like maybe one sentence each kind of thing but uh, it was the program that allowed me to do that. If I had just gone my traditional route, I get hung up sometimes when I, I see a page end and, uh, and I gotta continue on to the next and have like one word left or whatever. And sometimes I'll get hung up trying to figure out how to organize this. Should I just have one giant document or should I do a document per chapter? And I don't know, silly stuff like that. Or how am I gonna transfer from my outline to my document? How, you know, the process of doing the note cards and transferring from the note cards to an outline. And, blah, and this just kind of condenses everything and allows you to work very dynamically. So I can go from, you know, uh, you know this, uh, this format, looking at all my note cards and think, oh, you know what, yeah, I've got something to say about page 15, definitely. And then just, you know, pop it open and start writing it. And then think, ah, you know, I don't really know where else to go from here, and then pop over to uh, you know the notes, the notepad on the side of the document, and literally write. I don't know where else to go from here, but I do know that by the end of this chapter, General So and So needs to find the alien warship. Bum, and then go back here and carry on. You know, it's a. Uh, I don't know, it's just a, a whole different way of approaching writing, and it's been very useful to me. Um, I hope that it uh, is also useful for Space Cat. I think it will be, and um, maybe it's useful to you. Um, so that's, uh, that's all, that's why I wanted to uh, share it, and um, because sometimes you find these things that aren't that 
and well known about, and uh, they could be real gems. Um, but it's definitely a learn as you go and use what you like and throw out what you don't kind of program. In fact, uh, you can customize your toolbar to only show exactly what you want to keep and what you don't. And uh, I think the first couple days that I had the program, uh, when I first bought it, um, I spent just organizing stuff the way that I wanted it to be organized, um, which you could do that too. And they've got tutorials and videos and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, that was my day today with getting reacclimated to the program. I've started doing a little bit of work. Um, the biggest thing that I made use of with my half hour that was actually, I would say, genuine progress progress. This is progress because this is where I'm going to start doing my writing from here on out. But genuine progress, meaning I figured something out in this story, was the beginning. Um, not going to spoil anything, but uh, it's a much better beginning. It's perfect. I love it. Um, it's. I had to extend it a little bit um, from what I had before on the board, but I think it works better. I think it's funnier. I think it allows me to um, just dish out exposition without it feeling like exposition, which is awesome. And and uh, and also without uh, skipping past and not knowing anything about these people or what's going on either. It's very, I don't know, it just works. I hope it works the way that I feel like it works. We'll see. But um, yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, pretty sure, I hope this is short. Um, I feel like I've talked a lot longer than I wanted to. Yes, I have. Absolutely. I've been talking for about a half an hour. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to wrap this up, throw this up online, hopefully as soon as possible, and uh, get to uh, getting some sleep because I want to get up extra early because we are actually going to be gone for a couple days over the weekend. So I need to wake up early to get my comic stuff done in the morning tomorrow before we go. And then I will be trying to link my YouTube account to my phone so that hopefully I can give an update while I'm out um, and upload it. So I'm letting you know ahead of time that if there's no video, uh, that's why. And I will still do my best to record on the day, but I may not be able to upload on the day. Um, we'll see. It's uh, I'm running, I've been trying the last couple days to find a way to do this because I knew that we were going to be gone and I wanted to be prepared and ready to, you know, still, still keep with this. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I haven't found a good solution yet, but I'm still looking. And um, if I find that solution, then uh, great. If not, just know I will still make a video and show whatever progress I've done. I'm going to bring my sketchbook and stuff, so maybe I'll work on some concept stuff while I'm there since I won't really be uh, here to get much writing done and there's going to be fireworks and all kinds of craziness going on. So we'll see. We will see. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting and all that wonderful stuff. Uh, really awesome. I uh, appreciate everything. Uh, the discussions we have and all that all that great stuff so i hope you're doing well as well and uh i will see you uh maybe tomorrow maybe in a couple days we'll see what happens but uh yeah viva la space cat peace <laughs>